what's up youtube what's going on everyone thanks for stopping by um shamelessly hopping on uh vinyl tag for 2023 uh pretty crazy because a year ago is when i started my channel doing the the last vinyl tag so uh really fun just to talk about your records and it's fun to watch everyone else's videos uh this morning i saw mgk boston a uh, new vinyl page i actually just found that was in my recommended saw him do the tag which was apparently the rob walker created uh so i want to give credit where credit's due we're gonna roll through these um <clears throat> pretty pretty smooth uh might be like one couple little things that are inaccurate but we're just gonna have fun with it so uh, um favorite release i got my list over here uh favorite new release uh this isn't a new album but i, I want to give some tom petty love out there can't forget the classics uh this is packed with real good live petty and the heartbreakers from 1997 fillmore east uh residency yeah, as you can see you know six sides of great originals covers um sounds really good like this is a pretty more recent release towards the end of the year but it's it's great you know i want to i want to definitely shout that out um there's also like a deluxe version i just have the three lp set of that uh last artist you saw live so i actually just saw a new year's eve show don't have any records or anything by them um i saw mo new year's eve but I uh, also saw Phil Lesh before that, but I'm going to shout out Santana because I saw him in July or August. I can't even remember. It was in the summertime, um, and it was really, I didn't really even have any crazy expectations for it. I mean, Santana's obviously a legend, but I was like, all right, we're just going for kind of a fun show to go to. i um, going to shout out this legendary album. Really great, uh, really great show. I'll tell you, man, he's got it. It was crazy to see him uh, real close to. We actually got moved up really close, so really good um you know another classic you can't rule him out first album was the best uh technically this is jim sullivan ufo recently got this one uh, it's on a pretty cool coke bottle clear uh color you know got some good colored vinyl this year as well um pink cover as opposed to the original light blue this is a really great record um i think you know a lot of people know the story he kind of went missing or whatever um Whatever happened with this guy, I put out one, but he did put out two records, so technically this is a first. And I wanted to get that in there. Pretty cool color scheme and stuff going on. Big fan of that record. Um, Hat Trick, you're supposed to have a vinyl, CD, and a uh, cassette. I do not have... Here's the thing. Um, so I got my Machine Head cassette. Um, machine Head record here. You know, good classic, heavy rocker, really good never gets old when you're in that kind of mood um i do have a cd of that it's lost in the mix somewhere but i'm i am telling the truth so that is unfortunately not here with us today uh but pick that one decent amount of cassettes around but um you know switch up a little for my usual style of music um album that starts and ends with the same letter uh sailing shoes little feet Little Feet's always really fun. S and S begins and ends with S. Um, you know, really fun, easy listening. Uh, this was their second record. You know, great, great classics that a lot of people will know. Just like, you know, easy to slip. Uh, Sailing Shoes. Willing, you know, big ones on there. Easy, fun, listen. Artist that shares the same birth year. I don't even have anyone close to me that... I listened to, so I was born in 2000, um, 22 now, so I'm just picking a recent record. This was a reissue, I believe, from this year. Um, this is the band Woods, kind of uh, folk, indie rock, kind of alternative music. Uh, this is on a red record. This album is City Sun Eater in the River of Light. Um, I believe they formed, this band formed early 2000s in uh, New York City, I believe, so... That's a cool, different listen, you know, unique style. Something new, I wanted to put that in there. Uh, all right. Most listened to album. It's an easy pick here, Bob Dylan, bringing it all back home. This copy was already pretty rough when I got it. It sounds good, but the outside is not great. Um, already pretty rough, and I, you know, I've been spinning this thing hard. Uh, just never gets old. Always puts me in the mood for Bob, more Bob Dylan. <laughs> Most listened to artist. Overall is definitely Grateful Dead. Picked up Live Dead this year. Very happy about that. Um, 
you know, this sounds amazing, man. This is like amazing on your stereo. This is just a great, great live early dead. Good rockers on here, man. So good. Uh, get a beautiful, you know, Dark Star, Love Light, St. Stephen, Eleven, you know, just crazy, crazy good. So that's overall, you know, the dead are, are always, always a part of daily, daily listens. Australian band, I uh, probably expected. This is a big one. Everybody knows ACDC. Dirty Deeds Done Dirt Cheap. Probably my favorite ACDC song on here, Ride On, because of the fact of it's different from their usual, um, you know, power chord ripping kind of style um ride on definitely amazing but this is a good you know this is a good solid record most people know dirty deeds you know big balls all that some funny funny songs uh most surprising i believe surprising purchase of 2022 so this is kind of surprising to me for my style um i got into picking up some more hip-hop records lately um they sound really good you know you can't go wrong with the, like albums like this and Eric B and Rakim, you know, paid in full. These are classic hip hop rap, you know, and um, you can't rule these out. It doesn't get talked about much, you know, vinyl leans towards more um, rock and, you know, jazz and stuff like country, stuff like that. But this is really good. You know, this is like real good artistry, um, good songwriting, great style. And like you listen to that as a whole, like the infamous, I didn't even say it, the infamous Mob Deep. I mean, you know, it's like a, it's like a whole like, kind of like movie or like a play you know like it's really really good Th these these hip-hop albums to listen to full through uh album artists you're complete on zeppelin pretty easy one you know i have all their uh all their studio stuff at least you know not too many things to have by them but uh i picked this up this year this was the last one i needed for a while zeppelin one so you know this along with zeppelin two are my favorites by far um zeppelin four is overrated hot take i'd put one two and three above it any day uh a great run of three albums in a row by a band i guess three albums in a row uh, i'm going credence uh i'm a huge credence fan now this could have went with their debut and then these first two but i'm going bayou country uh green river and willie and the poor boys uh 19 could be like could we just appreciate the fact that these three records were all recorded and released in 1969 i mean insane green river i've become a much bigger fan of that record lately as a whole you know great great tracks on there uh tombstone shadow sinister purpose commotion you know cross tie walker you know because once you look past i mean their hits are always good you know the big hits but when you look deeper and then and then on bayou country you got songs like penthouse popper uh graveyard train you know good golly miss molly real good rippers man like so fun and cool you know these guys ripped uh ripped blues rock and and all that you know very good american rock and roll rock um so real good three album run in in one year that's fucking crazy actually you know uh so just gotta show the credence love okay 80s soundtrack i don't have an 80s soundtrack i probably do somewhere because i have a bunch of extra records i don't even keep in my shelves back here um and it's like soundtracks and all that stuff so i i was gonna show like fm that's like steely dan that's closest to um the 80s but it's not so i'm just no 80s soundtrack but no hate um lost them in 2022 so a musical artist that passed away the past year uh jerry lee lewis I actually picked this box set up a compilation of a lot of good songs that he performed uh this is really good too i got this for like 10 bucks or something for like four records and it's packed with great great sounding performances by him so um really fun you know he brought the energy great great performer um i don't have anything else by him but respect you know rest in peace for sure that i remember that day when i heard that he uh passed and i got that shortly after um disappointing purchase i don't really have one i was gonna show one that um i had all it got warped but um or i bought it warped it was this band called the daddy licks uh red 10 inch by them that i got and it didn't look too bad when i bought it but then i put it on and it wouldn't even play through uh non-vinyl purchase i'm gonna shout out here my new year's show that i just saw so uh mo 
at the Fillmore Philadelphia. If you're familiar with Mo, they're like a jam band, you know, came in like 1990, you know, around that time. Uh, I'm a big fan of them. They're really fun, you know, especially like past few years, um, got into them more. So a uh, fun, great New Year's show. Also want to give a little shout out here to this uh, cool Hendrix little figure that I bought at a record store as well. Non-vinyl, but I have him up on my, uh, keep it up on my equalizer up there. Um, just cool little music decor. You know, also got the posters and stuff. So that's non-vinyl. Um, a grail. Uh, so yeah, people talk about grails. I don't know. You people be out there looking for a German pressing of a jazz record from, you know, I don't know. I buy something that sounds good. It sounds good. Um, you know, more power to you if you collect very obscure and crazy things, but, um, it's all about buying what you want to listen to, not just having stuff. Um, grail, this kind of grail for me, it's just cause it's the condition that it's in. Zappa, Mothers of Invention, you know, unique band. Some of their stuff's way too weird. Some of it's listenable and some of it's, you know, pretty good. So, you know, I was a big, big fan of directly from my heart to you, the way they performed it on here. And I also obviously knew my guitar wants to kill your mama and I never would see this out looking for vinyl. It's, you know, you see some Zappa and Mothers of Invention out there, but never like great condition, at least where I go, never wide selection. Uh, and I saw this and I was like, first of all, the cover's sweet. And I was like, I'm gonna give this a shot. It was pretty much near mint audio condition. Um, at least in my book, you know, very good plus. I don't know, I'm not like hardcore about grading or anything, but this is surprisingly a really fun listen, you know, front to back. Um, it gets a little weird, but it's just enough that I could handle it. So, cause some Zappa shit is just fucked up, but, um, space themed, gonna space themed album or song, I guess I'm going to do uh, Venus by Shocking Blue, a big, big hit for them. Uh, this, I kind of just wanted to show this. This was a Record Store Day release that I picked up this year. It was Leftover. Um, there's, I still see these out there for sale, but this is really good, man. Um, like, it's cool pink vinyl, and it's got just cool hits by, um, cool songs by Shocking Blue. Really cool band. I just kept that pretty much as is, just opened it up. Still got the stickers on there. This is fun. Listen, it sounds great, man. It sounds really good. Um, so that's that. Uh, VCLT or a present. So show something you got sent to you as a present or just gifted. I don't have really like a following on here. So I don't really have anyone send me anything. Um, I did get this as a present. Johnny C. Um, kind of a family thing here. Like a lot of country, old country. Johnny C. This guy sounds like... Uh, Johnny Cash a lot, but this is really fun. Uh, you know, he's doing mostly covers of songs and uh, I got a good amount of country, you know, in the collection and it, sometimes you just get in that mood and you just want to spin a classic country like that and it's, it's great. So Johnny C, the world of a country boy. All right, now an album from 1973. Uh, wow, I ran through this pretty quickly, which is good, better than keeping anybody, you know, losing the attention span. Um, Goat's Head Soup, 1973, record for me. I was gonna also either choose this or Don't Be Denied by Neil Young. This is really just a personal favorite for me, you know, especially over the past few years. I've grown a big connection to this album, just something about it um, compared to the rest of the Stone stuff. You know, this is a pretty good one for me, especially um, like in the winter time and you know, when it's like winter and spring, I really enjoy listening to this. Um, Songs like Coming Down Again, you know, Angie, Heartbreaker, you know, it's just a great, great album. So that's my 1973 pick. Uh, looks like that's it. Sorry, I keep looking at my screen here, but I just want to get the list right. So, you know, um, thanks for creating this final tag. You know, I just want to share my video. Like I said, it's been a year since I started this channel. Fell off for a little bit making videos, but it's fun to talk about music and it's fun to listen to people out there listen or uh, listen to people out there talk about their stuff as well so um thank you for stopping by checking this out try to keep it pretty short can't wait to see more videos out there thanks for um like i said thanks for stopping by here giving me some of your time hope you enjoyed it see everybody